We're not teaching gender ID and sexual orientation in kindergarten. We're not teaching sodomy in sixth grade. It's the quote that launched a firestorm of controversy that's still smoldering. Republican gubernatorial candidate Jack Chitterelli's leaning into, from the right, the culture wars. Reaction was quick and direct. An endorsement of Governor Phil Murphy by the state's largest LGBTQ advocacy group. He is using coded language that they use all the time against equality in New Jersey. And so for us as the statewide LGBTQ organization, we know exactly what this language is. We've been combating it for years. And to hear the Republican nominee to be using it as they run for governor is really discouraging, disheartening. Uh, and I'm quite honestly, I expected better for Jack, but if he gets elected, it's very clear how he's going to govern the state, and we can't have that. By now, Cittarelli's pivot to the right has been a frequent topic of discussion among political observers. But he insisted in a statement that love is love. In an op-ed today, however, the Republican railed against changes to the state's curriculum that now require kindergartners to learn about gender identification and sexual orientation and middle school kids to know about vaginal, anal, and oral sex. That's not entirely accurate, though. The LGBTQ curriculum, which covers historical, cultural, and other contributions of that community, makes no reference to sex acts. But the New Jersey Learning Standards does. But the log cabin Republicans say it's Murphy who's forcing an agenda while trying to make Chitterelli look extreme. Fighting attempts to expose young children to overtly sexualized and identity-driven ideology doesn't make someone an anti-LGBT bigot. It makes them sane, reads a statement from the group. This is a group that supported and stood by Trump as he rolled back progress for transgender Americans from for LGBTQ people widely. And so for them to stand with Jack is not a surprise. Insider and Jay columnist Jay Lasseter called Cittarelli's comments retrograde while applauding some of the log cabin Republicans' efforts in general. I think the log cabin Republicans make the Republican Party like less extreme and less awful. And I was actually looking at their Twitter account earlier, and they're really calling out some of the real kind of radical fringe elements of the Republican Party, and not a lot of other people are doing that. So kudos to them for that. But uh, Jack, Jack Cittarelli does not have a good enough track record on LGBT issues to, to deserve the endorsement of gay people, I don't believe. A spokesman for the Law Cabin Republicans wasn't able to talk to us today, but as Cittarelli himself suggested in another segment of that same video... Give me a little wiggle room to spend time going places Republicans simply don't go. And give me a little wiggle room on how to talk about issues. Because the goal is to win. New Jersey voters could be in for a long campaign of coded language and exaggerated outrage. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.